everybody. So welcome back to the top five episode two. Last week we did Pokemon. This week is TV shows. I'm your host, the Hatbox Kid, Chris. And with me today is uh, Tom. You can find me at youtube.com backslash the memoirs of a college kid. Um, you got Corey here. Uh, Coreman408 is my YouTube channel. <laughs> Shut and, up. Uh, this is... <laughs> and this is Tyler. You can find me at uh, TensaZangetsu59 on YouTube. So, Tom, do you want to say what we're going to do this week again, sure. even though I just said it? So, we're on our second episode of the Top 5 n- new YouTube series you can find on the Hatbox Kids channel. Uh, this week, we'll be focusing in on our top five favorite TV shows. Uh, the criteria for this is you're stuck on a deserted island, and you can only pick five shows to take with you. And so, I guess I'll kick it off. So, my, num- right. my number five show is Whose Line Is It Anyway? I, you know, I didn't even think about that until you just said that. Yeah, I'm kind of uh I'm kind of upset that that's not on my list now. Same. It's such a great show. Awesome. I guess it's coming back, too, like this summer. I don't know how I feel about that. That is news to me. That's what I, like, I read I think it online. Be, but. I, I think it would be awesome, but at the same time, if, it doesn't, if it's not as funny as it was before, it's going to tank. Um, my number five is Grey's Anatomy. I knew it. Yeah, okay. I... It has a good storyline. I've been watching. It I didn't for a know while, it was Grey's so. Anatomy. I I knew it was gonna tank. Shut up. <laughs> yep. All right. Well, for my number five, I picked The Simpsons, I've, which has been going how many years? I think for twenty. It's, right. Uh, just ended. It's twenty three. Oh my! Yeah, ten to yeah. twenty three. Thomas. So, yeah. Twenty. So if I'm stuck on a desert island, you know, I have a lot of catching up to do because I think I stopped watching around like the fifteenth season. So. Yeah. I still like it, though. It, the first eight were really good, so... Understand. Alrighty, my, my top five is a newbie. They've only had two seasons. I'm waiting for the third season, Comic Book Men. I Ugh. did not I did not want to pick Pawn Stars, because we were talking about it the other day, and that show just kind of gets on your nerves. But Comic Book Men is like Pawn Stars for nerds. It's true, and you are a nerd, so I mean... How much better can it be? I never even heard of that show before. I heard no, it. Corey. I never watched it. Lucky. But... Okay, so number four on my list... Um, would be the Inbetweeners uh, UK version. I love the show. I have the the completed series on my at home, so it's great. It, is that the one where somebody was naked in, and you messaged me about it or something? I think I did. I'm pretty sure I did. There there was something about that show that they got away with, and you were like, oh my god, I love this show. Yeah, I did. I did message you about it. That's right, yeah. <laughs> All right. My number four pick is uh, Castle. Um, I don't know if you guys know what it is, but it's... Yeah. Uh, it's like a it's a murder mm-hmm. mystery show, but it has it's a uh, I don't know it's different. It has a good background storyline instead of just the mysteries. For my number four, I picked uh, How I Met Your Mother. I just started watching it last year, and I'm already caught up. It's like eight eight or nine seasons in. I believe it. I think it. Yeah, it's I don't know. I it's really funny. Um, Barn Neil Patrick Harris is really good in that show. Uh, it just has a really good storyline throughout, and we just met the mother recently, so it's going into its last season. That '70s show. It's probably not your number one. I yeah, know. Really. I've been watching it for hours recently, and I'm up to. I just started watching it this past last Wednesday, so a week ago from when this video is going to be put out, and I'm already up to halfway through season four. I think. Wow. It's amazing because episodes on Netflix are 22 minutes long, like the half hours. It's amazing that eight minutes of your show is commercials or like one third, almost yeah, one third of that time's commercials. Yeah, yeah that's well, how yeah. it always is with TV, whether it's a movie or a show. Yeah, Terrible, terrible stuff. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. So my number three is Community. I love the show. I got into it like oh. last. last uh, Never seen it. It's awesome. I heard it's really good. It's awesome. You've been telling me about it, Tom, a lot. You know, You have to watch it. I've it's, never seen it yet. Chevy Chase is hilarious in it. Um, Danny Glover's awesome in it. It's great. And so was the guy from The Soup. I mean, so, Joel McHale. Joel yeah, McHale. he's so funny. Yeah. Such a great show. Okay. All right. My number three pick is uh, Dragon Ball Z. I watched it. <laughs> <laughs> Tom. I, I called I, it. I, 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 Tom I, called it. Tom. I, really? I owe Tom five bucks. <laughs> I did not see that coming from Corey, no. Well, no, I used to watch it a lot when I was younger. I never watched the whole series all the way through, just like bits and pieces here and there. Uh, but I did oh. see the whole Boo saga, like, yes, cohe- coherently. But I've been I've been watching it lately on uh, on the internet. 
there's a Dragon Ball Z TV or something. I don't know. But I've been watching it there. Yeah. Ready to go? Okay. Yep. For my number three, it's South Park. Another it's cartoon. Been, that's yes. that's not bad. It's always been that I don't know. I've just I started watching it like right when it came out, probably in like I don't know, 1997, 1998. I was gonna say, how long has that show been on for? Too. Holy it's God. been on since 97, and yeah. I don't know. It's just always <clears throat> stuck around. It's been that I don't know. It's always that thing that's I found really funny. It's the only thing that really keeps me laughing. Alrighty. <laughs> Speaking of cartoons and Seth MacFarlane, my number three is American Dad. Oh. I didn't want to put Family Guy on the list because Family Guy's getting kind of out of hand lately. These past two or three seasons of Family Guy has been they're trying to transition into American Dad from in their earlier seasons when they were doing all those like uh, cutaways and jokes that people didn't understand where American Dad can hold a 23 minute episode with still with cutaways and jokes like that, but it still has a storyline every episode. Huh. Uh, my number, my number two pick is uh breaking bad. I only watched the first season. I heard good, seen it. good things about it though. Same. I love it. It's absolutely cause awesome. At, Cause like after the first season, it just started getting weird and shit. I, I love it. Like, I just got into it, like, the past couple months, and it's just so awesome. I definitely need to catch up on that. My number two my number two favorite show is uh, The Big Bang Theory. It's just... Uh, it's, I'm rolling it's my eyes. just kind of answer. a really funny show. It's nerdy and cool, and Sheldon like is it. just a one-of-a-kind character. You won't see any other sh- show like him. Segway! Segway! All right, for my number two is an anime called Attack on Titan. That just comes Which started. is only one season. It's time. only ten episodes in, but it is amazing. It's I don't know. I just kind of picked it up a couple weeks ago, and it's it's kept my interest. Like every week, I'm. It's the first time in a long time where I'm anticipating the next episode for anything. Like even my number one, yeah. I sometimes forget that it's coming on. But this one, like I always, I always make sure it's always on Saturdays. Uh, it, it gets uploaded, so I gotta wait a while, but. It's it's really really good. Like the opening alone is worth taking that show for the rest of your life. I think. Okay, my number two show was on ABC Family for I think eight or nine seasons, and then I don't know why, but they just took it off, which was stupid. Greek, which I don't know, Tyler. I don't think you've seen Never any of it. it. Tom, you watched the first a few seasons, maybe season episodes. I've seen yeah, every episode, stuff. Chris. I saw season one and two. Yeah, and, and Cor- Corey yeah. likes it too. I'm not going to speak for Corey no, when I say I, that he likes it. I definitely it, do. I'm guessing. That was a really good show. I, f- I actually kind of forgot yeah, about it. That show was, I, I remember I, I came in into the third season and they were doing like a marathon on ABC Family and I watched every episode up until that new episode that night. So, All right. So my number one show is uh, House MD. Absolutely love the show. It was awesome. This is when pretty it was good. On. Never saw it. It's a and pretty it's like good nine show. seasons of it. So you've never seen House? It's no. Awesome. Wow. No. You figure it's like nine seasons. I think it's like at least twenty four hours for each season because there's twenty four episodes each an hour. Oh long. my god. You're, you're looking like ten days of TV. You know, um, this one show. House is supposed so. to like resemble a Sherlock Holmes character. <laughs> my uh. number one TV show would be Malcolm in the Middle. Um. Oh my what? Wow. Yeah. Are you serious? Okay. What are you, a hipster? I just think it's hilarious. Really? And he is a hipster. I don't know. Malcolm is just hipster, a lot of smart stuff, so. and interesting. Hipster. And then the rest of the family is just crazy. And it's just a good laugh every single episode. Okay. Well, my number one show oh of God. all time for oh. me oh God, is here we go. Supernatural. Okay. I, I, I can see that. You well, saw that coming, that. Chris. You knew I that. I can see that. Yeah. I... I I thought I did because I, no lie, I googled I googled America's top 100 TV shows of all time, and they had Supernatural at number nine or really? ten. Really, it's think. it's so good. It's really really good. Yeah, uh, you know, like Sam Sam and Dean are just like two of my favorite characters in television. Uh, Castiel, who showed up like four seasons in, is really funny. I don't know. I just like I like the first five seasons, and then like seasons six through eight have just been like kind of throwaways because it was supposed to end in season five because the final villain was the devil so i don't know how you jump off from that uh, everybody knows yeah, what my number I'm one show sure. is 
Just the say Walking it, Dead. Yeah. Uh huh. Got it. Okay. Figured. All right. Yeah. Party over here I with mean, Rick Grimes would... and Michonne Ugh, in the pants. No, I could not put that yeah. in my top five. That is in my top. I, I was gonna put it at number five, but I thought about it and I was like, you know what? Every week I go back and I watch that episode over again and their new episodes. It's a crazy intense ride. Even though this past season was the best season, but their season finale was terrible. Oh my god, yeah. I'm still gonna come back and watch. Put your top five TV shows down bottom too, because I want to see somebody's like a lot of other people's number ones. Because that whole that whose line is and everything anyway threw off. My whole list, because like I'm looking at my list now, and I'm like, oh, that was a good one, but I'm not gonna change it. 